station on space to ground. Capture confirmed. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. The Japanese HTV-6 was grappled by the Expedition 50 crew this week. The cargo resupply craft arrived on December 13th, four days after launching from Japan. Shane Kimbrough and Thomas Pesquet used the station's Canada Arm 2 robotic arm to grab the spacecraft while it hovered a few feet away. They handed control over to ground controllers who then maneuvered the vehicle and attached it to the Earth-facing side of the Harmony module. The Expedition 50 crew opened up the hatch on Tuesday and began unloading the thousands of pounds of newly arrived cargo. And among the over four and a half tons of supplies and hardware are new batteries, which the crew is gearing up to install in January. Six lithium ion batteries made the ride up in the unpressurized section of HTV. They'll get removed by the Dexter robot at the end of the month and positioned to be installed in a series of spacewalks and robotics procedures in early January. NASA's Peggy Whitson performed routine maintenance on the station's spacesuits as she and her crewmates continued to prepare for the spacewalks scheduled for January 6th and 13th. This week, Twitter user Anurig Singh wants to know if astronauts can wash their clothes. They don't actually, which makes cargo flights like HTV all the more important. Washing clothes would require a lot of water, something that has to be used very deliberately in space. New clothes for astronauts will typically arrive on a cargo flight months before their space flight begins. The old clothes from crew on board get packed into those same cargo ships and burn up in the atmosphere. There's also been research to study germ-resistant fabrics to help clothes last even longer. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.